Ready to find out my top five tips about how to channel your angels? Keep watching. Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. My name is Melanie Kate Love if you're brand new here and today's video is all about my five top tips and how you can communicate with your angels. Now the most important one that, well I have really learned this year is all about your self-love practices. Now, self-love practices is basically anything that you love that makes you feel amazing. So it could be anything from going for a walk, going for a swim, drinking a cup of chai tea latte. Oh my gosh, it could be like painting your nails, doing henna, styling your hair, putting on eyebrows that match and are symmetrical, I think. Ish. <laughs> um, yeah, really doing anything that raises your vibration Really anything where you're laughing and you're feeling great and super duper happy, that is a self-love practice. If you have no idea what your self-love practices look like for you, then I have created my very own self-love starter kit. It's completely free. There's a link in my bio, so you are welcome to check that one out. And a part of the self-love kit, one of them is a self-love practices workbook, where I literally help you identify what does self-love look like for you? Because my self-love practices are probably completely different for yours for yours, for you, <laughs> and that is totally okay. So self-love is the most important one. The second one to help you communicate with your angels is through meditation. Yes, meditation is a self-love practice, but I like to give this one its own little category. It needs its own little love because it is so important. Now, initially, I actually started meditating like, oh my gosh. When did I end that really bad relationship? Like 2009. That's probably when I first started going to a meditation like circle and I was like, this is so cool. And I had an out of body experience without even trying. I think everything always happens when you don't try and there's no resistance in your vibration. But anyway, um, I feel like I'm talking like a Gilmore girl at 50 miles an hour today, but I kind of just, I was like sitting down on the couch on the bed before and I was like, I don't want to film today. I have private readings, but I'm like, I don't feel like today is the energy for private readings. And then I turned on the camera and I was like, angels, tell me what you want me to say. And then this video kind of came about. So we're just going with the flow. Um, so meditation. So I used to have to lay down like literally fully on the ground um, for like ages to be able to feel like I'm getting somewhere, but then I wake up and I'm like, ah, this is not really right. Now I've gotten to the point where I can literally close my eyes. I breathe in, breathe out. <sighs> and my angels will like show me messages or whatever. And I just saw like fireworks and, and you know, the, um, like the birthday emoji of like the hat and like choo -choo 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 things coming out. It was just like celebrate, like meditation looks so different to every single one of you one of us. So it, meditation to me could be laying down, it could be going for a walk, like surfing. What does meditation look like for you when you're in that vibration where you're like not thinking and you are literally present? Let me say that again, where you are literally present. If you have no idea what the flip I'm talking about, read the book, The Power of Now from Eckhart Tolle. It is totally will change your life. Um, and that is a beautiful space to be able to hear your divine guidance. Number three. Oh yeah, that was it. <laughs> to eat high vibrational foods. Now I'm a massive believer that you are what you eat. So I eat plants in the most natural and unprocessed state as much as possible. And that makes me feel amazing because if I'm eating high vibrational foods, I literally, as I ingest that, take on that energy. I used to eat meat, dairy, cheese, Oh, all this terrible stuff that never made me feel good. After, in the moment, I was like, oh, this tastes so good. But thinking back, I was like, actually, it didn't make me feel so good. I wanted to like lie down after dinner or whatever. And um, when I learned about the animal cruelty and the power of karma and the hormone, I can't remember the name of this hormone, that is released just upon an animal being slaughtered and then you ingest that into your body. I was like, ah, uh ah. -uh. That is not good for my vibration. That is absolutely toxic. When I started eating high vibrational foods, it instantly put me into a higher frequency, which made me able to channel my angels a lot better. Okay, the next one, the fourth one is through meditation. I began asking, or even just randomly as I was driving, I was asking my angels for help and guidance. I remember there was one time I was with this um, this dude before I went to Hawaii and I was like, angels, 
if I meant, if he has a girlfriend, because he was, let's not go into it. I was away for a month, no communication. When I got back, I was like, something's not right. Like, I know something is not right. Like, you need to call me when I'm away kind of thing. Like, I'm, a, I'm amazing. And how dare you treat me like that? Or how dare, actually, I was at the point where I allowed someone to treat me like that. Anyway, that's another story. I could write a whole book about my life. And I asked my angels to show me blue butterflies if he has a girlfriend. Was it that? I can't remember. Anyways, I saw blue butterflies on t-shirts when I was scrolling through Instagram. It was like, doo, 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 like literally everywhere. And I was like, okay, my angels are saying that is a massive red flag. Get rid of him. And I went home. I later found out he had a girlfriend. I was like, see you later. <laughs> um, yeah. So just literally asking for help. I literally said the other day, angels, I need help clearing this blockage. I feel like I'm doing everything I can. I know there's resistance in my vibration, but I need you to help me. And I just let it be because I know that, <laughs> let it be, oh, let it be, oh, let it be. Speaking words of wisdom, let it be. Yeah. Um, I feel like I'm jacked on coffee and I didn't even drink coffee. But actually I did have a lot of sugar which I probably shouldn't have. I had a cup of tea with some sugar and then I had two ginger nut, oh actually three ginger nut biscuits, I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah, asking for help. So yeah, literally ask your angels for help and you'll be able to see synchronicities in your life, whether it's like a blue butterfly, if it's like coins on the ground, if you're seeing numbers everywhere, I've made a whole video about synchronicities, um, seeing feathers, Oh my gosh, there is so many different ways to communicate through you. Um, lyrics is another one. I get quite a lot of songs. Um, yeah, and the fifth one is to literally pay attention to what you're seeing. And I feel like when you're doing your self-love practices, you're meditating, you know, you're eating high vibrational foods, you're asking for help. When you allow that to just take place, you basically start to reap the rewards as the angels start to communicate with you. Now. This year has been like, I feel like my intuition has just been put on turbo speed this year, but I have been doing a lot of work releasing blockages. And since doing that, they just talk to me all the time. I have two angels. Oh, I don't know if you call them guardian angels or what. I don't know what you call them, but um, about six months ago, I was shown through meditation, this beautiful purple handwritten, like almost like in running writing, like almost beautiful calligraphy. And the name came up was Josephine. And I was like, no, not Josephine, Angelica. Because I remember I said, I don't like that name because it made me think of Angelica from the Rugrats. If you remember that TV show, she was like the mean, the mean one out of everyone. Um, and I was like, Angelica, what? I was like, oh, okay. And then recently, only about last month, I found out that I have another angel and her name is Zara and she's she's like super hip because she's kind of like, she's got a little bit of a sassy, kind of playful, um, funny, silly humor. I just love her. And she said, it's Zara with a H and she wrote the name um, like very much like, kind of like the font that you see like all over, um, kind of like the marker kind of font that's running writing, but she put Zara, Z-A-R-A -A, with a H on the end. And she shows me things in emoji. She shows me flashes from like Disney movies, which has come up a lot in a lot of my clients' readings. I was like, where the heck did that came from? She's like, well, you like that. So you would remember that. Um, yeah, so that, that's basically my five top tips. There's so many ways that you can communicate with your angels, but you need to be in the right vibration or the frequency in order to hear what is coming back to you. So I hope that helps you today. If you are interested in learning more, then I highly recommend that you start applying these tips today and be very patient with yourself. This is not something that you can say, I want to hear my angels today because it takes time. Um, so just, you know, allow these beautiful divine messages to wash through you. And yeah, I hope it helps you. If you can hear your angels or your intuition or whatever you want to call it, I feel like I have my intuition, but then I always say have angels that are guiding me. Like kind of, I just saw a vision of like holding your hand, like the mama bear 
um, helping the child cross the road. That was just what I saw. Um, it's like, I feel like it's my superpower. I feel like I'm unstoppable and I'm like, imagine how much further my intuition is going to improve in a year from now. Like I honestly believe I will be able to channel an entity. I don't know, like, you know, like if you follow like Abraham Hicks or, um, Barbara Goldsmith or Goldstein, she can channel the Palladians. I honestly believe I will get to a stage in my journey where that's possible. Anyways, my love, I just wanted to share that with you. I hope you're having an amazing day wherever you're on the world. If you have already applied these five top tips or if you have any more or any stories you would love to hear, please comment below. I will be responding to you for the very first hour that this video goes live. And I just wanted to say, I love you, I love you, I love you. Have an amazing day and I will see you next episode. Goodbye.